All right, we'll try this again. Here we go. Hey, y'all. That was uh, that was a lot on the live stream. I mean, the uh, the premiere. Wow. What did we get to? Eleven thousand. That's amazing. I've got the chat up. I'm going to do my best to keep up with everybody. We've got some Patreons waiting and hanging out that we're going to talk to tonight. And Patreons, I see you waiting there. A couple of you wearing your Wi-Fi gear. That's awesome. Yeah, I see it. Remember the rules. Keep it clean. Keep it fun. Don't be weird. So what do we think about... Um, the Bible code and these religious mysteries. I wasn't sure how this this video was going to do because the word that non-religious people would say, "Oh, it's you know, it's going to be a Bible story. Who cares about that?" But I'm not very religious myself. But I've always been fascinated by the Bible code, and these things are really in there. Now I don't know how real they are, but but people do find them, and um, if you want to search the Bible yourself, there is, um, there are sites that you can go to online and you can even download the software and run it on your computer. So allegedly, I've never checked this, but allegedly everybody on earth is coded somewhere in the Bible. Like your name, your birthday, and your death day is in there somewhere. All of us. So I don't know. Do we want to... <laughs> Would you want to know that? Would you want to know the day you died? All right, I have a couple of super chats here. Let's see what's going on. Um, Rick H. Rick H. Sliders for fish breath. He loves the sliders. White Castle. Okay, what do we got here? Demonic Hordes. AJ, you got to do the longer videos. They are for you way more informative. Tonight was pretty, hang on a second, I'm using StreamYard, and while you're live, it's popping up ads for me to get the professional plan. Really? While we're live? So demonic words, let me get that again. Do the longer videos. Well, tonight was what, like 20, 22 minutes? I mean, 25 if you count the, the sponsor read. I'm sorry about those, but you know we we got to do it. We got to pay the bills. Two hundred fifty-six is Lord Hecklefish going going now? Wear a gold foil hat or a tin foil crown? I like that gold foil. He does. Let me see if I can. Let me see if I have it. Hang on, I'll, I'll find it. Yeah, so that's his uh, his Lord proclamation, certification, whatever this is. I mean, they really sell you the land. I don't know how, how it works. Um, I've heard different things. I've heard that it's you're legitimately, legitimately a Lord if you buy that thing, but I've also heard the other side. <laughs> Um, we can talk about this. The sponsors, don't, they're not watching this. They watch the other one. All right. What do we got? I Missing. Uh, oh, there we go. I, I got to make this bigger. Sorry. I, I, can't, I can't see it. Jamerson McGradner. The animation sequence shown before premiere. What is that from? Also love you guys. You're the best. Thank you for that, Jamerson. Uh, a lot of people ask that. YouTube for the live premieres gives you like 10 or 12 trailers or intro songs you can use. And that's the one that's called sci-fi. But it is, the artist's name is somewhere. Someone had it. If someone knows it uh, in, the, in the chat, then throw it up there. Uh, Rick H. That's the new studio. Yeah. We're in the new studio. I didn't have time to set up another camera for you guys. I wanted you to see the rest of it. 
but yeah. New studio. Victoria, slow mode. Now, are you, is that some, are you asking me to do something or are you just are, are you wishing it? You got to you got to tell me how to do that. I don't know what I'm doing. Pelicano BB, love your channel. Thank you for that. It's very nice. N, search your name right now. If you're searching for N in the Bible code, uh, you're going to find it. N's going to be in there. Kathy Mello, for another 50 bucks. You just, you're making it rain. Um, does Lord need a jester? Always. You got to get that, that funny hat with the bells. And if you do that, make sure you send a picture. And by the way, speaking of pictures, I don't know if everybody knows this, but if you go to the wifiles.com at the top of the screen and the, uh, the navigation, there is something called in the wild and it's just pictures of just fans wearing like their Wi Fi stuff out and about. It's, it's very funny. Check it out. David Bro Broyles. Now, David, is this a, is this another hundred dollars? Cause you tipped a hundred earlier. Love the Wi Files. Thank you. I, I love you. For, for, for this. Please consider covering Ernst Alexanderson's instant transmission system using longitudinal waves. Eric Dollard is a great reference. You're going to have to put that in the tips line because there's no way I'm going to remember all of that. So um, the yfiles.com slash tips and I'll definitely look into that. And when you submit that, David, if you have links to any articles or anything that I can use um, to put the story together, that would be super helpful. And thanks again for that amazing, amazing tip. I'm scrolling, I'm scrolling. Tiger Lily, Lily, what makes you happy? Try, I got, got the nicotine gum. Nicotine gum. Chewing gum, on, it's so unprofessional. Tiger Lily, what makes you happy? Does doing these videos and after parties make you happy? Um, to be honest, I wish there was more I can do for you in the live streams. And I have a couple of ideas, you know, games we can play or different different things we can do. If there's something specific that you'd like to learn about or have me do on the live stream, then email me, aj at um, So if you guys are happy, I'm happy. I don't mind doing these. Lulikins, super fan. Wow, I love you guys, but my ears are bleeding. Why are your ears bleeding? Is what are we turned up? Are we turned up too loud? Let me know in the chat. I'm gonna look for that. Lord Hoffman. The gum. The gum's gone. Um, but remember, it's nicotine gum, so it may have to come back. But I'm gonna I'm gonna hold off for as long as I can. I'm gonna unwrap it. I'm not gonna put it in, Luli. I'm going to unwrap it. I'm just going to set it there. I'm just going to set it right there. I already want it. Leon Ambrose Jr. Super sticker. I, did you just type that? Did you just type super sticker? I don't think you have to do that. <laughs> All right. Scrolling. Curtis Hutch Hutchinas. If any of this is true, then we really do live in a simulation. I agree. I mean, it's, look, it's, it's definitely easy enough to make the computer program give you the output that you want with the Bible code. But remember when, when Dr. Rips released that study in, in 1985, plenty of people were trying to refute it and they couldn't. And that journal is peer reviewed. So and to get an article published in in statistical science, it's, you typically just need one or two reviews to get on there, but they had three or four. I mean, they exceeded the number needed to get published. Um, but I agree, if it's true, we are definitely in a simulation. Brian Hamilton, he cocked a gun. Uh, cocked a gun again, okay. And Patreons, I see you guys hanging online. Just, we're, we're gonna get to you, we're gonna get to you. Bob Manikowski for $20. Thank you for that. Now we have some place to bury Lord Hecklefish instead of just flushing him down the toilet. Okay. Okay. You know, that's, it's kind of dark. You know, your brain's kind of dark. 
We could talk about that if you want to. I mean, you, you get your twenty dollars worth. You know, use me for therapy. Bill Green, thank you for the great work, amazing work. You're very welcome. Thank you for the tip. Um, your support really helps the channel. I'm scrolling. Archangel Reese, fascinating episode. I'm glad you think so. I always liked that topic. I bought that book when it uh, first came out in the 90s. I was fascinated by it. The The second and third books that Drosnin released weren't as good. It was a lot of, you know, he'd make these predictions in one book, and then half of them wouldn't come true, and then he'd release a book and be like, well, uh, this is why they didn't come true, and then a third book, why those didn't come true, and he just, he just kind of gave up. The Book of Life, we're all in there. That's what they say. Louis Samuel, does Hecklefish get paid or is your deal with him fishy? He gets paid. You know, he's got an agent. He works for scale. Ramon Perez, um, I don't know what DOPs are, but there's 600 of them, so I appreciate that. Uh, we may have to get a, an exchange rate, see what that is. AJ, th I've thank you before, and I'll keep at it. Thank you so much for being and keeping us curious from the Dominican Republic. Uh, here's $10. Coffee is on me. Take this as a big hut. I, I appreciate that, Ramon. I really do. I, I, and, and Dominican DOPs, what are those? Oh, he's here. He's, you know, we have him. Let me see if I can get him in the, he's on remote. He's in the remote studio. Scrolling for the super chats. Chapeau, oh, 600 is $10. Thank you for that. No, it was Dominican. Imagine. I think, I don't know how high the super chats go. But, I mean, David David sent a couple of hundred bucks today. That was amazing. I don't, I don't know if they even go higher than that. But once in a while, people will, will send $100. It's amazing. AJ, your mic seems warm, and we need more highs in the mix. We're seems seems warm like we're too much we're too heavy in the low end or seems hot like we're too loud all right hang on i'm scrolling i got you space pound iron love channel thank you ireland Thanks, Freaky. The best thing on YouTube is, is Y files. The search for $9.99. Ho ho ho! That's the good stuff! Oh, uh, Hecklefish likes it. The search for $9.99. When is the Phil Snyder episode going to air? The Y files is one of my favorite channels, Hecklefish for President. First of all, if you say Hecklefish for President, what you have to do is you have to buy the t shirt. Um. I can't post another link. I can't. I can't do another another plug. But there's a Hecklefish for President uh, T-shirt. Go to shop.thewifiles.com. So Phil Phil Schneider, not Snyder, it's Phil Schneider. I think we're gonna do him next week, actually. So that's the episode about the the Dumbs, the deep underground, the bases, and Dulce, New Mexico, where he had an, he had a shootout. Well, he and the special forces had a shootout with aliens. And uh, they like shot his hand off. <laughs> you can, it's a crazy story. Um, I hate to, I almost spoil it. I'm not gonna spoil it. Okay. So Jim's talking about the Discord. If you haven't checked out Discord, I'll post that. I'll post the link in the chat. Go check that out. We definitely have the best community on YouTube, no doubt about it. Um, Camberosa. Yes! Thank you, human! You know the deal. Um, my husband and I stumbled upon your page, but... That, so there, Hecklefish is there. Did you, I, I have it on in the, in, in the other computer. It's distracting me. So yeah, he's there. He's just, you know... He's paying attention. He likes money. My husband and I stumbled upon your page about a week ago and haven't stopped watching since. Honestly, amazing. Thank you. All hail Lord Hecklefish. That's gonna go... That's gonna go right to his head. Finally, a human who gets it. Yep, she gets it. Hippie, f uh, f 
you almost got me. Are you okay? You have lost a lot of weight. I am okay. The, the thing is, I'm okay now. Six months ago was not okay. That was COVID fat. It was COVID fat. And about 18 months ago, I injured my shoulder. And I wish I was doing something, you know, amazing. Like I was lifting a truck off of a, and a mother holding an infant, whole twins, you know, something like that. But I wasn't. Uh, I was out for on a walk with with the wife, with Jenny, picked up a rock and threw it because I'm a big shot. You know, I threw threw it because uh, you, you do that. And uh, I felt something click in my shoulder and it was just kind of sore. But I, I, I used to be sporty. I know what an injury feels like. It was just kind of sore. And then playing with the cats or doing something and I kind of like jerked my arm and one of the most painful things I ever felt, just shooting through my whole body. So I went for a couple of weeks where I really, I couldn't, I could hardly move my arm. And it was just getting worse and worse and worse. To the point where I, I it was just kind of stuck here. I couldn't, I couldn't put a sh- my shirt on, it was awful. So I go to the doc and he says it's adhesive capsulitis a.k.a. frozen shoulder, a.k.a. 50-year-old shoulder. So, yeah, it made me feel old. So what happened was, so I'm talking to the doc, and, you know, hey, so we know what it is, great. How long is it going to last? He said, oh, you should be okay in, like, 12, 18 months. What? 12, 18 months? Jen had open-heart surgery, and she was healed faster than that. She did have that, by the way. If you ask her to show her, show you uh, her scar, she'll do it. So, so he tells me 12 to 18 months, and I said, there's no way. Um, I'm a fast healer. I'm a tough guy. I'm going to be fine in like six weeks. It's now, we're coming up on 24 months, because it happened in, in November, two Novembers ago. Still kind of sore. Like, I can do everything. I have full mobility, but it still kind of hurts. That's, that's how bad it was. So I have a year where I could hardly move my shoulder and we're kind of stuck inside because um, because of, of COVID. I, I can I even say COVID we demonetize now. Um, I keep looking at the nicotine gum. It's calling me. And, you know, after like the second year of the pandemic, sure, you can go out. But I don't want to I don't want to go out with a mask and I don't want to be six feet away from everybody we were in Scottsdale at the time and I wanted to go to the aquarium over there I was looking forward to doing that and I drive down there just kind of like to to see what it's about and masks required and social distancing so I, I just didn't want to do it so I ended up basically just being a hermit and making weird videos and gaining weight gained a lot of weight so I spent the last six months just getting it back together. This is this is my fighting weight. All right, catching up. I'm catching up, and then we will get to. Then we'll get to the the, the patrons. Anunnaki Gaming, AJ, will you be rocking a beard in upcoming videos? I say, do it. You look like a Chad bro. Uh, it's it's a little long tonight. I I trim it. I whisker it up. You know, that's what Jen likes. You know, she's she's the supervisor in charge of facial hair. So I, I do what she wants. Patrick, Math, Matthew, Math, Matthew. Hi, uh, from Quebec City in Canada. Uh, bonsoir. You have the best uh, by far channel on YouTube. We thank you for your effort and we appreciate a lot. Merci beaucoup à vous. Uh, thank you very much. I appreciate the tip. Uh, I am dark side lizard people. Boom goes the dynamite. Thank you, human. All right, boom goes the dynamite. I'm just scrolling. I just want to make sure that before we go to the page, uh, the Patreon members, and I might as well do the plug now. So a couple of things with this live stream tonight. So uh, Patreon members, I'm. I gave them a link to just pop on and I, I see a, a bunch of folks waiting. 
just as kind of a perk. Because when I set up the Patreon, I really want to chew the gum, but Lily will get mad. When I set up the Patreon, there was just, I wanted to do more for the members, and I just haven't had a chance to do it. You know, with the channel kind of growing, I'm constantly behind. So I thought maybe I'd just give Patreon members a perk and hang out on the live stream, especially since I don't have much to talk to you guys about. So, um, and another thing, Patreon members, I have my headphones. I don't know how it's going to work. It's, I don't know if I'm going to be able to hear you. I don't know. So b bear with me. If I can't hear you, then maybe just, you know, say a few words to the crowd and then I'll, I'll let you go. Um, Alex McCamey. Thanks for stuffing the old tip jaw, human. All right, Hecklefish likes it. Found your channel a couple of months ago after binging all your videos, shared the simulation video with my brother. He happened to be watching the simulation video when he got the text. Love your channel. I can't get enough. Thank you very much, Alex. And that's weird. That's weird that he was watching the channel. I'm just scrolling. I just want to make sure. Uh, JT Mode for five dollars. Ooka chaka ooka 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 chaka ooka ooka. I can't stop this feeling deep inside of me. Human, you just don't realize what your tips do to me. Okay, we good. All right, JT Mode. Try is in. I prefer those to the gum. I don't know. I'm not trying to quit smoking. I, I never smoked. I'm not trying to quit smoking. I, I chew nicotine because it's the drug that knows. If you're feeling kind of down, it perks you up. If you're low energy and if you're wired, it settles you in. It's just the drug that knows. Um, so I don't even know what Zen is. Email me or put it in the chat. We got Mega Megatronical. That's what I'm talking about. All right, he likes it. I spent the past month catching up, finally caught my first live. Thank you for creating some of the best content on YouTube. You're very welcome, and thank you for the tip, Megatronical. Gary Edwards, did anybody follow up on the obelisk key? No, nobody did. And it's, it was kind of annoying, right? Because that was late 90s. I, I want to say I want to say it wasn't even 2000 yet, and it just they just pulled the permit, and that was the end of it. Um, I think there was uh, controversy was starting to happen with Drosden as the book became more popular. He had more people attacking his theories. It's kind of like YouTube. The more people you have watching, the more people are going to attack you. So I, I think he it was just controversial, and he just kind of went back under the radar. But I would have liked to. I would have liked to know what what he thought was out there. Uh, Javier Nanez. Yes, I'll finally be able to upgrade my vodka to Belvedere. He not, He's got me swimming in the cheap stuff, you know. Yeah, it, we're not getting Belvedere. Javier, thank you. AJ, I love the channel. Hecklefish can't wait for the plushie. I know. Uh, we're gonna get that. We're gonna get the plushie done. Kelvington for ten dollars. <laughs> I finally love hearing the phrase just the tip. <laughs> that's that's inappropriate. Sorry about that. I'm sorry about that if anyone's got their kids watching. Love the channel and the videos. Uh, you are a modern day Art Bell. That's a huge compliment. Do um, you see his picture on the wall? I can't see it from here. You can. You see him up there? Uh, I would never put myself even in the same sentence, the same paragraph with Art Bell. But, uh, but I appreciate that. I was a huge fan of his, you know, growing up. We got Tuna 56 for four ninety nine. Oh, thank you, human. You made my dorsal fin tingle. Oh, he's, he's tingling. This channel is amazing. It's smarter, more entertaining than anything on TV and cable. That, that's true. <laughs> that's true. Um, thank you for all you do for the community. You're very welcome. Uh, Tripping with Duma or Doom or, or Dumbass for ten dollars. Yeah, baby, slip that in my G string. That's 
it's your intro you aren't wasting my time with okay let's get going type intro okay I don't know he sent ten dollars so I read it but I don't know if I was being punked S. Davis I'm beginning to suspect you are deep fake AI and only Lord Hecklefish is real are you real I'm not I am I'm an AI Bob the talking postcard for five dollars thanks for stuffing the old tip jar human yeah he likes it I see digital patterns when I close my eyes and lightly push on them simulation um maybe or it could just be the psychedelics crazy cat if God is real would that be any different to the universe being a simulation that's kind of that was kind of the the point of that video or the theme of it is whether it's everything is God's will or everything is the simulation programmers will what's what's the difference Sean Turner for two dollars love your work thank you for that Sean Wesley Blanchard for twenty dollars cha-ching baby cha-ching uh, what if we're in a game like the movie Wreck It Ralph and we just haven't figured out how to get out of the game meet up with all the other games at the arcade yet I don't think we can ever get out um I don't know in that video did I talk about Plato's cave story I, well, well let's talk to the patreons first before I, I get into a story um, but the gist of it of it is we probably can't get out and even if we could we probably couldn't understand what was out there right we couldn't wrap our minds around it if you think about ants walking on a piece of paper that's their you know to an ant that's their whole universe is this sort of two-dimensional piece of paper and what if what if ants were suddenly you know became flying ants you know what if they were just in the air they wouldn't know what to do same with you know a fish is underwater if it came above water it would be so out of context I don't think our monkey brains could comprehend it Keith Hitchman does the merch store take crypto no because it's just Shopify um, but if you want I can send you my wallet IDs Dan the repo man for ten dollars hey making it rain over here yeah thanks for premiering a video in the evening I always miss these at work can you cover project Serpo there are hardly any videos on YouTube about it um, you're very welcome I'm so I'm in the I'm on Pacific time zone now and a 9 a.m. premiere 6 a.m. my time I, I couldn't do it and besides YouTube in the the analytics says there's more subscribers watching at this time of night but I wasn't sure because we did mornings for months so I wasn't sure if people were even going to show up tonight but we had a pretty good turnout um, Project Serpo is not on YouTube very much because it will end up with a context warning so when you're searching project I'm sorry I'm, I'm, I'm itchy I'm itchy I don't know why I'm itchy if you search if if you search for Project Serpo you, you're not going to see very much so um, you know th those types of videos get, get buried by YouTube it's one of the reasons I haven't done some more darker and controversial topics is because no one will find them you know even if you specifically search for like next week Phil Schneider with the Dulce bass that's going to be a risky one I'm going to do it but if you look at videos that about Dulce bass there's a context warning at the bottom that says it's it's a well-known conspiracy and there's nothing to it and and when you see those context warnings it means YouTube is just suppressing your content so I kind of I try to avoid that and you know last week or was it the week before the dogman video that got demonetized because there was like three seconds of the video that was deemed too graphic for people under 18 the face eating stories which I tried to keep super super like just surface information because those were really gr uh, grisly but no because of that we don't get paid for that video uh, I'm scrolling I'm scrolling uh, the fantasy files podcast <laughs> 
Hey, AJ, big fan. We'd love to get you on a podcast for a Creator's Corner episode to talk about the content creation and the expanse. Is there a good way to reach out? Thank you so much for the content. You're very welcome. You can just email me, aj at the yfiles.com. Um, so for your podcast, talking about content creation, I could do that. Talking about the expanse, I can do that. I've, I've gotten quite a few requests for podcasts about um, having me come on to talk about UFOs or Bigfoot or urban legends and weird, weird stuff, you know, podcasts that are just dedicated to spending hours talking about that. And what I tell those folks is, because I haven't done any, is I don't know how good I would be on the podcast because I'm not an expert in those topics. I, I'm just not. I, can, I consider the Y Files an entertainment channel, not a, you know, not a conspiracy channel, not an urban legends or a myth channel. I consider an entertainment channel. I consider myself an entertainer who researches, not a UFO expert who talks about that. So sure, I can go on your podcast, but you know, if you ask me about the latest Chupacabra sighting, I'm not going to know about it. But Expanse, I, I will know about that. All right, do we get everybody before we go to the the Patreon line? Almost. SJT Montgomery for $1.99. Enterprise and Hecklefish's bowl, outstanding. You're the first one to find it. You're the first one to see that in the bowl. And guys, there's something different in his bowl every week. Very few people ever notice it. Devin Davis, where do you come with stories for your vids? All over the place. Um, but most of them come from the tips line. The yfiles.com slash tips. That's where, that's where most of these subjects come from. In fact, probably the last 30 episodes have come from viewers. So there's no shortage of content. Now, for you guys that have sent stuff into the tips line, let me tell you a little bit. If you want me to do political stuff, I can't do it. So I, I see requests for the Clinton body count, which is a cool story, but I can't do any of that stuff. YouTube will crush it. You know, Donald Trump's uncle, who is part of the the intelligence community and connected to a couple of weird deaths. It's an interesting story. I can't, I can't do it. Um, so no stories about, um, murders and R word stuff. They're interesting, but I can't do it because YouTube will suppress the content. It's not just about the demonetization, which is annoying, but it's about no one seeing it. And, um, it takes a long time to do these videos and to just throw it up there and have no one watch it. It's frustrating. So I, I just don't, I don't do that stuff. And there are a lot of channels that do, and I would direct you to those. But that being said, at some point in the next month or year, whenever, probably six months, we're going to launch the What Files, which is going to be true crime and all that stuff. And so not so focused on um, ads or money just about getting those stories out. So keep listening for that. The What Files coming soon. Uh, I will not be hosting that. Gramps is a super sticker. Thank you for the super sticker. 2,500 CRCs. Can you do an episode on, on AI conspiracy? Send this to the tips line and be more specific so I know what you're talking about. I'd like to do a topic, I'd like to do a video on, on AI, like the stuff coming out of Google. C. Demone, Demone, C. Demone for $20. Thank you for that. Yo, mamacita. mamacita. Thanks for the tip. Uh, a question and a comment from a 46-year-old dad and his teen son who are super fans. Dad. Dad. AJ, have you pitched the show to any networks? It's such a great format. Son. Feed Hecklefish. Um... Hecklefish likes White Castle. I haven't pitched the show to any networks. I've been approached by a, by a couple of folks about things, but I'm honestly not all that interested in it. You know, when I first moved out to LA in 2005, I went out there to become a host. That was, that was what I was going to do. I don't think I've ever talked about my background because it's boring, but... But in, in New York, I was, I was doing radio and stand-up and a lot of stuff like that. And um, wanted to come out to, 
to LA and take a shot at becoming a TV host. And I'd, I'd done a couple of small things in New York and wanted to take a shot. And uh, got to LA and things were going okay. I got pretty close on a couple of a cu- couple of big jobs and got and got a couple of small ones. But it was about that time where the industry, the hosting industry or whatever, was moving toward experts. You know, like they're redoing, a, they're flipping a house or I don't know, they're they're making cakes look real. You know, that kind of stuff. So I had maybe the best hosting agent in the city. And I get a call from her, and she's like, you know, do you, do you know do you know how to how to do construction on a house? Do you know how to do um, any of that stuff? And I said, I don't know how to do anything. I'm a I'm a I'm a TV host. I'm useless. I can't do any of this stuff. So it just didn't pan out. Um, I talked a lot to Discovery and about weird shows, like they would. There was an agency, there was a casting company that would always call me for the weird shows. I never booked anything, but I always was in like the last two or three guys to do a ghost hunting show or any of that stuff, the Bigfoot in the woods, whatever. But nothing really panned out. It turns out that I have to, you know, be in my twilight years and launch a YouTube channel to get noticed by the networks. So, no. No, I don't. I don't. Not even sure I'd want to want to do it. There was one network I spoke to about a month ago, and then I'll move on. I'll get to everybody that wanted to take the Y files and make it kind of long. They want. They said we want to do an anthology series, and this is a network. This is a series network, and what they wanted was to have me and whoever I don't know who and folks but have me go to Mount Shasta and do the story from Mount Shasta and interview the people there. Um, you know, go to Michigan, talk to people about the dogmen, you go around the country and do this stuff. Now, as a younger man, that would be a dream job. But now it's like, uh, I told him, I said, I- I'll do that. I'm not, I'm not traveling anywhere. I'm not going anywhere. I'm like, well, it's, we, <laughs> that's really the format we're looking for. Well, I, you know, I'm just got too old and tired to fly around the country, to, you know, talking to people about Bigfoot. Flattering though. Demonic words: black-eyed children do eat freaky. They are freaky. Uh, <clears throat> I'd like to do black-eyed children, but the, what I'm struggling with with that particular topic is what's the story? Like there, there there's so many different legends, and it's not very coherent. It's like tar- Tartaria and the mud flood. I've been I've researched the hell out of that story, but there's no there's no narrative to it. So I don't really know how to present it. I don't want to just say this is the this is a weird urban legend and these are these are things. I like I like to, to kind of take you through the story and kind of have there be a theme and have it be meaningful as opposed to just saying these are theories. Um, but I'm going to keep looking. Black eyed children, the BECs, those are very very interesting, very creepy. Um, Renovated Kitchen. I love the channel since I first heard you and share each video. Thank you for that sharing. It's super helpful to the channel. What about some of the interdimension demons Alex Jones talks about on Joe Rogan? I don't know what he's talking about. Apparently MIT studies all this stuff too. I don't know about that, but it sounds interesting. If you have a link, send it to me uh, in the tips line. Uh, Indigo Hagawar Intuitive Arts. I love you, Hecklefish. (laughs) <laughs> I like the way this human thinks. Yeah, I thought you would like that. Um, all right, Kevin A for twenty dollars. Booyah! That's this stuff. Just to say thank you and congratulations for the new studio. Wish you all the best in Las Vegas. Thank you, Kevin. I appreciate that. Uh, next week, I don't know if I I want to do these every week. I will if you want me to. If you want me to do them every week, I will. I've been doing every other week because this is this is what we're doing, is I'm just answering questions and super chats. Although we've got the Patreon members coming up. And look, you Patreon members, I, I can see you there. And I don't know if you're making faces because I'm taking too long or whatever, but look, if you're if you're calling into like a show, this is it, man. This is show business. Show business is waiting. It's waiting, waiting, waiting. And then you're called to set, and that's your time to shine. So everyone waiting there, 
Stella, I see you. You got to pay attention. There you are. Now she's back. Everyone waiting there. Get ready. It's, it's almost your time to shine. If I can hear you. If I can't hear you, then, then this was a bust. I'm scrolling. Scrolling. Um, Moondoggy X for $5. Appreciate that. There you go. Guppy needs a new pair of shoes. Yeah. Taco Bell, yay or nay? I, does it mean do I like it? I like Taco Bell. Del Taco fish tacos, though. Those are excellent. Those are as good as, like, like, like Long Beach, California, Oceanside, like, food truck fish tacos from Del Taco are actually excellent. And if you're into sweets, you have to try the cheesecake bites. They're bananas. But look, that's why I was fat six months ago. I couldn't move. I had COVID and then cheesecake bites. Uh, Tuggy 499 Super Sticker, thank you for that. Daryl Wigington. Wigginton. Everyone says Wigginton, don't they? Wigin Wigginton for uh, for two pounds. Biggity bingo, human. You can't be a lord as it's a peerage. See my comment. Uh, it, if you go to the established titles, it says right on there that there that there's no. It, it's not. It's not peerage. So do I have to see your comment? Can you just email them? Just email them. I'm sure they'll get right back to you. Kosher Torah School of Rabbi... Oh, uh, Rabbi Ariel Bar... So, I, I don't know how to say this. This human knows what's up. I'm trying to talk to this guy. Rabbi, I don't know how to pronounce your last name. I'm, I'm sorry about that. Sadok? Sadok? I hope you liked today's episode. I hope I did it justice. Uh, Patrick007499, who voices Hecklefish? Boom! Goes the dynamite. Thank uh, you, human. Himself. Who, who, who voice, voices you, Patrick? Scrolling, scrolling. What do we got? Uh, Lawrence Segui for $10. Chingy, chingy, bang, bang. Oh, give me a break. I'm running out of ideas over here. Yeah, I can tell. You know, those are getting pretty thin. I hope this is enough for you and Hecklefish. Me and my wife love your show. Hecklefish is my wife's favorite talking fish. <laughs> Nicely done. You're very welcome, Lawrence. And yes, that's, that's more than enough. Every little bit helps. Being an independent creator, not an easy uh, row to hoe. Row to hoe. Not an easy road to hoe. Curtis, Hutch, again, Curtis, do a story on the disappearance of Frederick Valent. I don't know that one. Put it on the tips line. I'm not going to remember these. I don't remember two comments ago. Thewifiles.com slash tips. Scrolling. Skyjack is in there, so that's that's good. Jonathan Earl, get the gum. I really want to, but I don't know if Lulikins is still here. If she is, she's going to yell at me, and I don't want to get in trouble. Um, Tamara Black, four ninety nine. Yo, making it rain over here. This show is every bit the equal of drunk history for infotainment. I'm hooked. Also, Zin coffee flavor is invisible while talking and magic for cravings. I guess I have to look into Zin. Oh, thank you for, for the tip and for the very nice compliment. The X-File for $20 super sticker. Thank you for that. David, do you have help researching and it's so much money? Do you have help researching and producing the Y files? Do you ever work in Intel account? Did you ever work in Intel counter Intel? Um, I have some help with researching. Um, could use some more. Could use some help writing. Producing Gen helps a little bit with admin stuff, but otherwise I do everything myself. Um, did I ever work in Intel counter Intel? I had clearance. Life and Whispers, $5 super sticker. Thank you for that. Titano Strongman, $10. Hi, sorry for asking because I'm sure it's out there topic. What's up with Project Blue Beam in short? So you want to pop on the live stream. You want to throw $10 at me and, and just like sum up a story? Look, for just if you just send $10 in and say, hey, I love the show or you know, who voices Hecklefish or say hi to my son. That's fine for $10, but 
to have me sit and give you, like, tell you a story for you for ten bucks. I think you, I think you gotta I think you gotta go bigger. You go fifty, and and we'll talk about it. Robert Prather or Prather, great video and well covered. Thank you. You're very welcome, Robert. I hope I did it justice. Marco Terrazas for nineteen ninety nine. Oh, thank you, human. You made my dorsal fin tingle. Let's do other thought. Mushrooms for the nicotine. Maybe you'll see a magic seal of your own. Did you buy the magic seal T-shirt? It's definitely my favorite. Uh, and it was an idea. Some, it wasn't my idea. Someone on, on Twitter came up with it. I, I went to Mel's Hole, and all I got was this magic seal fetus. Now, that's a T-shirt that will spark conversation. What I'm waiting for is that one day where someone's wearing a shirt like that, maybe a hecklefish shirt, and someone else knows the show. If that's ever happened, you got to email me about that. Um, Edward Roman, five dollars. Do parasitic higher entities have humanity as livestock on this prison? Oh, do the higher entities have us as livestock on this prison planet? Maybe, but what? But livestock for what? For food? You know why? I think if anything, we're more entertainment or research. But simulation theory, I'm, I'm probably seventy-five percent pro believe simulation theory maybe more mick keek for five dollars did you get my tip about staircases in the forest i didn't see that i'm sorry especially if you sent money i haven't done staircases in the forest because i can't find any good ones now there may be a couple and if there are send them to me on the tips line but i found you know here's a staircase in the middle of the forest from this angle but then you look into it further, and from the other angle, it's stairs going down into like a, 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 a like the side of a river, or here's other sta stairs, and it's the beginning of a construction or something. Like there's always a reason for it. So I need to have more. The I don't want to do a story that's so obviously obviously fake. And I'm not saying there aren't weird staircases in the forest. I'm just saying I haven't seen any that were compelling yet. I like the stories that are like, wow, could this be real? Like the Bible code. Bible code could be real. Guy Edwards for $9.99. Anybody follow up or continue Drosden's search for the obelisk key? I don't think so. But I'd love to know what happened. My first donation to a YouTube channel. That's Mr. Hurst for five dollars. First donation ever. Thank you, and Hecklefish. You're very welcome, and thank you for that tip. For the your, the first donation ever. Yeah, I I'm really grateful for you guys for the, for the super chats. They really do help the channel. And I'll do some quick plugs. If you'd like to support the channel, the super chats are great. But you can support on Patreon for even less, for, for as little as $3. As I said earlier, there aren't as many perks as I'd like, but we're working on that. Um, but you get some extra perks in Discord. Um, you get the videos a day or two or three early, if I can, you know, get them done on time. And Hecklefish creates stuff content from time to time that the patreon members get and they, and they get early so if you want to support the channel patreon is a great way to do it or buy something from the y file store shop.theyfiles.com we have some some good stuff funny stuff j jonky jank for five dollars congrats on your recent success thanks any chance of chemtrail research in the near future maybe maybe chemtrails but i need i need something new so when I, when I do these stories for you guys, a lot of them are kind of old stories. A big reason for that is I'm an old guy and I remember the stories like John Teeter. It's always been fascinating. But when I do an older story, like Chemtrails has been around forever, that, that kind of urban legend, I try to bring something new. Like if I can't find any new information that, that you already didn't know, that you already, if there's nothing new, if there's nothing new, I don't do it. And I've got, maybe I could show you. I'm not, I'll, I'll show you next time. But I've got tons and tons of topics that I researched halfway <clears throat> and realized there's nothing, there's nothing new out here. So I, just, so I bail out of it. Because it's just rehashing. You know, I'm trying to bring value. You know, I want to bring value to the subscribers. Chris Overstreet for $10. Thank you. Yes! Thank you, human. You know the deal. He knows the deal. I look forward to your videos every week. Thank you. You're very welcome. I'm glad that you do. El Dante again for $1.79 or a pound 79. Where do you think 
the Ark of the Covenant is now. I think it is in Ethiopia. And uh, I'm going to do an episode on, on the Ark of the Covenant. Today's, tonight's episode was actually sort of a little bit of a test to see how a, it's not really a religious topic, but it's, it has to do with, it's tangentially religious. If tonight's video does well, then I kind of feel like I have the green light to do Ark of the Covenant. I'm, and look, I'm not that religious. Not that really, I'm not, re, I'm not religious at all. Um, but I have a great respect for religion, especially from a historical standpoint. And, you know, I just love the old stuff. And I, and I love learning why people believe the things they believe. I'm very jealous of people that, that are like devoutly religious because how peaceful is that? Leon Ambrose, I just bought a heck of a shirt. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. That is human is okay by me. Yeah, Hecklefish likes it. John Fair's World Journey for $5 Canadian. Will you do an episode on Keyhole they just found in the universe? I don't know that one. Submit it on the tips line. I appreciate the super chats, but I'm not going to remember these. Uh, Kevin Everhart for $100. There you go. Guppy needs a new pair of shoes. Your videos have impacted my life in such an amazing fashion. Appreciate you and your beautiful soul, Lord Hecklefish is superb. Thank you very much, Kevin. I'm, uh, I, I, it's the nicest thing that you could say. You know, when I, I, I try to connect with you when I'm doing the episodes. I, there's so many channels that do these topics, and they just kind of, it's, it feels like you know, newscasting to me a lot of the channels and you guys subscribe to them you know the channels I mean we're just kind of a guy sitting there with the shelf behind him with stuff on it everyone has that right the little the nerdy knickknacks and tells the story and there's kind of a you know images up there and just tells it and then that's it I'm just trying to do more I'm trying to do more for you so if I can connect with you as as a viewer, that's then I know I've I, I've done my job. I'm scrolling. Sandra's trained for six ninety nine Canadian. Thank you for that. All right, I'm getting my headphones ready. I look. If there are. Thank you, Emily. If there are super, is that is that your picture? Is that you? Is that is it black lipstick? No, I, no, I'm not. I'm not criticizing. I, I, I dig it. All right, stand by.
E, E, you hear me? You hear me? Your sound isn't, Your sound on, right isn't on right now. No one can hear you no in chat. No one can hear you in chat. Don't worry, don't, don't worry. worry. It's going to be good. Let's try this. There we go. There we go. All right. I'm, I, I got to get myself out of my ears. All right. You still got me? I still got you. I still got you. All right. What's on your mind, man? Thanks for popping in. Of course. Of course. Just hanging Just out. Just hanging out. How are you doing? How are you doing? Going? Going? I'm going good. Just doing this thing. Keeping you busy. Keeping huh? you busy, huh? Yeah. Go ahead and plug your podcast. Well, uh, well uh, my, name's my name's Jacob. I host, I host a, podcast a podcast called, called Gems, Gems of History. History. And History. And just being a buddy, and a buddy, we talk about, talk some, about some lesser known, lesser history, known histories and stuff. And stuff. So, so, what was the last one you did? Uh, my echoing, uh, my echoing. No, oh, oh. they're saying they're I'm saying echoing. I'm echoing. Uh, you sound all right here. Mm-hmm. Sounds like they're underwater with the fish. <laughs> For running, yeah, running, chat and echo. And echo. Hello, hello. Uh, you better, still sound better. good. Nope, nope. All right, Jacob, let me let me put you on the bench for a sec. That's Jeff P. Hey, Jeff, are you echoing? Yeah. Fina, tell the other guy to turn his volume down. Caller, if you could turn your radio down, caller. I can hear, but it's weird. Let me put you on the bench.
This is TC. TC's on mute. Of course, I'd be, of course on, mute. I'd be on mute. That's just <laughs> That's the way just it always works. Work. Work. Well, I just well, want to say, say a former, former uh, uh, creator, myself, creator myself, I know how much, I know how much work, work you have to put in to put in these type shows. shows. And, and you know, you I, know, really I really appreciate it. it. I know the rest, I know of, the rest of the fans, fans do as well. So that's really what I wanted to say. Well, thanks. What do you mean former creator? You're still here. Well, uh, well, I had my own, I had my own channel. channel. I was, I was uh, uh, Kipper Coin. Kipper Coin. So we, so we, uh, uh, I did, uh, I did uh, coin, uh, coin row hunting, row hunting, so coin collecting, coin collecting, that sort of thing. That sort of thing. When the pandemic hit, couldn't get coin, get coin, get more coin shortage. shortage. So, so I had to shut down the channel, channel because, because it wasn't any kind of content, content anymore, like more like I used to. Well. The pandemic screwed up things for everybody. It, and this isn't pandemic related, but the camera's killing me. TC, I'm going to put you on the bench. Nope. Right, so I'm not going to have you guys just hang out and wait for the the camera to to recharge. So I guess we'll call it early. Although I got two hours out of this camera last time. I don't know why it's being a, a, a jerk. But next time we do this, 
I'll have a, a an actual studio camera, a cinema camera that could that could stay on. I'm just using a little a Sony Pocket thing. Um, so I'm going to thank you again for stopping by before the camera gives up. Patreon members, I'm sorry we couldn't get to everybody. We're figuring it out as we go along. Um, I see some great super chats in there. I really appreciate that, guys. Uh, let me see if I could. You know, what we'll do we'll we'll super chat our way through the next couple of couple of minutes <laughs> until the camera dies again. No, but look, let me be honest. Just it's just me and you having the camera die after an hour. I'm tired. I'm pretty tired. So I don't, I don't really mind it. Ernie, the quiet doom for $5. Ooka chaka, ooka, ooka, ooka chaka, ooka, ooka. I can't stop this feeling deep inside of me. Human, you just don't realize what your tips do to me. Ernie says, also, I hate it when other channels use your font. Is someone using the wi files font? Or do you mean your font? Jerry Piper, AJ did run out of battery. Excl so many exclamation points. It did. And I feel terrible. I look, I could try. I could try to go to the Patreon, the Patreon line. I'll try. I'll try. But look, if it if it fails, if it fails, it's on it's on you. Hey, hey what's up? I can hey. hear you. Great. I mean, chat, chat. Are we echoing? Are we doing it? At least I don't hear it. No, you sound good too. I'm, I'm looking at the chat now. Probably just pretend that the battery died. So ah! ah, of course. Ah! Hey, we only have a minute. We need to make sure everybody signs up for Patreon. Just going into Discord is awesome. There's a bunch of amazing people in there. So, well, that. That's a great plug. I'm going to put the link in now for you yeah. guys. That this was the this first point. YouTube channel I ever donated to or became a Patreon member for. So I love the work you guys are doing. The ad with Hecklefish was amazing last time. That was <laughs> sweet. I've never sat through an ad very much before. So that was hilarious. You know, the, the sponsor reads can be so tedious. It, like when, when I'm watching channels that I subscribe to, some creators that I just think are awesome. When they get to their their sponsor reads, they're so devastatingly boring that I just skip and skip and skip. But I figured if we can Same. make them funny, you know, always put Hecklefish in a situation, then maybe people will stick around for the sponsor reads. And look, if you guys buy the pre VPN software, or buy the the t the Lord thing, that's great. It looks good for me and the channel, but you, you don't have to. You know, well, just, I'm sure you guys got hit up by a bunch of a bunch of probably people wanting to advertise on your channel because that was awesome i'm the same i normally skip through everything but i laughed at that it was hilarious and it gave me some food for wanting to get my own there's a bunch of jokes in there so <laughs> also victoria sold me on it too she had one now i'm jealous so all right great well crazy world thanks for stopping in hey thanks for having me on Seth, you want to jump on? I mean, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep going. I'm audio only. I'm yeah. audio only. Can you hear me? Oh yeah, we got you. How do you say your last name? Forest. Forest DA. Forest DA. Okay. Yeah. And that looks that looks like a big gun safe behind you. That's it. That's it, it, it does. And so, like, <laughs> this is all ready now. Whoa! Look at that. Yeah. That's amazing, dude. Yeah, I don't know if you guys could see that. It's a Seth created a custom Glock for the channel. It's amazing, and he sent me some videos of like the laser etching and stuff. Yep, I think. Yeah, I don't. Maybe, I don't think. I don't think the camera will pick it up. No, uh, it doesn't do it no. justice. Yeah, the the pattern on the grips is all just conspiracy theory text. Well, that's that's amazing. I think yeah. on the backstage channel, I'll post the videos of, of like the, the work that you did, the stuff that you sent me. Cause it's really interesting and fun to watch. Yeah. Yeah. I don't, I don't want to stay too, too long. 
I'm, uh, I'm going to be in your neck of the woods tomorrow, so check your emails. Okay, my neck of the woods is Vegas, but my but my wife is still in North Texas. Gotcha. Well, it can wait. Okay. So. Well, I'll touch I'll touch base with you, and uh, and I'll be back. I'll be back in the Dallas area pretty soon. Okay. Cool, man. All right, man. You're Later. amazing. Jeff P, you want to say hello? Oh, good. You can. Oh, good. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Wait. So, love your channel, AJ. Well, thanks. I appreciate it. Anything on your mind tonight? Nope. Just enjoy your videos as always. All right, man. I appreciate that so much. Thanks for being a Patreon member. My pleasure. Thank you. Chris Overstreet. How you doing, sir? You look, How you, doing? you look ready. <laughs> I do video conferences a lot in my work, so uh, I'm all I'm all set. Um, I think you should go all Yiddish all the time. Yeah, <laughs> you got You got. I love I love your stick. You're a mensch. You know, you got a lot of chutzpah. Um, no, seriously, man. Um, uh, I'm kind of living vicariously through you because you you get to create and you get to be creative and you get to research all the things that I'm interested in. And, you know, you and I are of an age and, um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm totally living vicariously through you. I know I don't see all the crap like the, the shadow banning the demonetization and the critical viewers and all the other crap you got to put up with. But, uh, seriously, man, when, when a notice comes up, I, I will drop what I'm doing and I will watch the video. And I just want to thank you, man. I'm really, I'm really, excuse me. I'm a little verklempt. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm, uh, I'm, 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 uh, I'm from the Northeast like you too. So a lot of Yiddish in my head. Um, but yeah, man, thank you very much. I'm really, really enjoying what you do. And I hope you keep doing it. And you know, Bill Shatner, he's out there doing the unexplained. So, he is. so I mean, Hey, you might, you might wind up on discovery. Who knows, man? You know, you know, Chris, it's, it's, it's okay. I, this is, this is enough. This is fine. Um, yeah, this, uh, this is for my twilight years. Just, yeah. you know, work, just work from home. I mean, right. when I do the videos, you can't even, I don't even wear pants. I just, I mean, no pants, just, just boxers. Cause, and those are things you can't do if you're going to be on unexplained. Yeah, that's true. I've been working from home for seven years. I don't own pants. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Chris. Thanks All for right, popping buddy. in. Thank you. Jason, love all you guys. You're gonna get some sleep uh before work. This human is okay by me. Yeah, he's all right. G Kanks, you want to talk to the folks? Hey man. Hey, G. How you doing? I'm doing good. What's all that stuff behind you? <laughs> I have a slight obsession with board games. Yeah. This is also my office space. So, you know, I get on Zoom calls and people are like, is that, are those VHS tapes? Yeah. Yeah. That's what it is. It's a collection of VHS tapes. <laughs> you play those? Like, do you play oh, yeah. games? Oh yeah. We play, it, it wraps around that side of the room. I have a problem, but my wife has a problem with kitchen toys. So I get to have a problem with board games. Um, oh, hers are more productive, you know, because she makes food. Uh, I just wanted to hop in and tell you, man, I mean, I haven't found a channel that so many channels nowadays are just kind of like, there's so much, uh, negativity and stuff and your, your channel is just so enjoyable to watch. The hecklefish stick is awesome. Um, I find that really humorous. He just, finally a human who gets it, <laughs> but the, um, you know, you, you were talking about, uh, not doing stuff that you couldn't add something new to. I think you undervalue your presentation, the sincerity, and then the right timing of humor. It just makes the uh, the stuff enjoyable to listen to. So if you run out of stuff where you have new material, I think we'd all listen to it if you were doing old stuff too. Uh, that's nice of you to say. Hey, I don't lie. I'm, you know, most people hate my level of blunt. That's actually totally true. All right. What's the best game? What is the best board game of all time? Oh, okay. I would not say it's the best board game for people to start with, but my favorite one is Twilight Imperium. It only takes eight hours to play. Um, wow. <laughs> what, what is that? Twilight it's, Imperium? Yeah, it's a, it's a sprawling, um, it's a sprawling like a uh, 4X game, you know, explore, exterminate, you're, you're expanding your empire um, and you play it against five or six other people. And it really feels like you played for two. Um, 
But if you're just getting started, games like King of Tokyo are great for the family and for your, you know, for your friends. They can get into it. Um, so. Well, that's great. Where Where are you located? I'm in Michigan, so you know it's cold as heck. Uh, well, I, I was going to invite myself over for a game night, but it's <laughs> I can't do Michigan until the spring. Well, if you're this way, and if you're this way in the spring, you know, just let me know. Uh, we do a lot of them, but I don't think that's probably practical, given that you're in Vegas. <laughs> Well, if you're ever in this neck of the woods, definitely let me know. Sure. All right, man. Thanks a lot for having Repeat. me on. All right. Stella, something on your mind? Oh, always. Oh, always. <laughs> What's going on, lady? Okay, hang on. Let me get scout. Sit up. Good girl. Oh, sorry. I, I didn't mean to interrupt. No, no, no. That's all good. <laughs> um. Yeah, I've got a different accent to everybody else. I'm way south of the equator <laughs> here in Oz. It's about quarter to two in the afternoon. Um, been a big fan of the of the um, of the show. I was introduced to it via the boob quake episode. <laughs> what? That episode brought you in? <laughs> yes, yeah, that one. Um, that one. Um, that, performed so poorly. It's the most brilliant line I've heard Hecklefish come up with was, you know, a call to boobies. That's <laughs> <laughs> can't top that one. Um, true story. I went to say goodnight to my son, and as I've turned, I've run into the side of the hallway, and you know, my boobs bounced back, and I just, without even thinking, just went boob quake. And my son just looked at me, pointed at my room, and said, "Go to bed, mum." <laughs> uh, well, John but, um, Hart says boob quake was titillating. Oh, funny, funny. Yes, I mean, and um, this channel has the funniest fans. <laughs> yes, <laughs> uh, I do have my own channel, but I have like two followers, and I think they're both my friends, so it's really, really bad. But well, I do enjoy ahead. doing stuff. Go ahead and plug your channel. My channel, uh, I just do stuff. I build things. I don't know if you can see the bookshelf in the background. Well, it's not a bookshelf. Oh, it's yeah. A, it's a printing station. Um, behind me is my desk, but you can't really see it. But you can see the printer sitting on it. <laughs> yeah, uh, see, this yeah is, I, this I build is, stuff. This is it was people like you were taking the hosting jobs away from me in L.A., people that knew how to do things. As someone who can't do anything, I was out of luck. Uh, the name, Jacob, is just Stella.R. It's um, just what you see here. Uh, right, I great. do stuff. I do book binding. I paint. I um, I build. I needed a, a wall unit, and Ikea didn't have anything I liked, so I built my own. Um, I can spin the camera around if you guys want to see it. Let's see it. There we go. Oh, yeah. DVDs? Yes, DVDs. And yes, All my right. Star Trek collection has pride of place where everyone can see it. <laughs> I hope there's a DS9 box set on there. Oh, hell yeah. All right. Original, uh, next gen, DS9, Voyager, Enterprise, all of them. Uh, um, you're home. Yeah, I am home. <laughs> so yeah, no game night at my place, AJ. Sorry, it'll be a while and your arms will get tired swimming, getting all the way over here. <laughs> <laughs> well, they do. They do have planes that go there. I mean, you're not New Zealand, yes. right? New Zealand no. is. Still, do, no, I've New been Zealand, to New Zealand. I know, but New Zealand for like two years didn't let anyone in or out, right? True. Yeah, but yes, Australia, um, we, can, we can still get there. Yeah. Uh, Patrick Thomas wants to know if there's any Babylon Five. I, there's there is. Yeah. No, you have Babylon Five in there. Well, not in my video collection, but it's definitely on Netflix or, right. I don't know, one of yeah. my streaming channels. My brother watches that. Right. So Babylon 5 goes on streaming, but you and I, we have our box sets yes. that, that, that you can touch. Yes. Babylon 5 it never makes it to a box set, not for me. No. No. Not Babylon Heather 5. Loves your, Heather loves your accent, by the way. Oh, thank you. It's a real Australian accent, not someone trying to sound like an Aussie, eh? <laughs> it just boggles the <laughs> mind when people try to sound like us. Um, they either sound like a Kiwi, uh, where they drop the E's and <laughs> and get it wrong. 
that's that's New Zealand or they sound too English and you know it just can't have that so yeah no Aussie is it's a it's a unique language and a very hard one to to get by so and um Sir HF needs to behave it's yes my good mate Sir HF I've been calling him Sir long before he got his lordship so this human gets it yeah he yeah. likes it he likes it. And All someone right. in the chat said that, um, you know, to get some seaweed for hecklefish. Hecklefish is a freshwater fish. Seaweed will kill him. <laughs> yeah, we can't, you can't do that. When he goes into the ocean, he actually wears a scuba outfit. Oh, good, because he'd dry out. Yeah, he'd dry, he'd dry out. <laughs> All right. All righty, Filers. Go. See Can you next time. All righty. Uh, you know, it's a perk. Hang on. It's, hang on. Give it a, give it a, will you give it a second? It's a per, it's a Patreon perk, you know? So I figured we let the Patreons come on. We give them some value. I mean, if, if you guys got, I hope you got value out of that. Give them some value and then maybe get a new Patreon member or two. Um, so before the camera dies, next time we'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. Before the camera dies, I want to thank you for stopping by. Two or 3,000 people in here tonight. That's amazing. I don't understand it, um, but I'm grateful for you guys. And um, hit me up on email if there's anything specific you want to do or see or have happen on these live streams, and I will take care of it for you. But you, you know how we wrap it up. Be safe, be kind, and know that you are appreciated because you are, and I mean that.